and welcome to Tamla and Taylor Street Talk Tuesday, where we talk to you about treats, business, and life. I am Taylor with Taylor's Kitchen, located right here in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom treats for your special occasions. I um, am going to hand it over to my co-host, Tamla, who will introduce herself. Cool. Thank you, Taylor. So as she said, we are Tamla Taylor's Treat Talk Tuesday. And I am Tamla, the co-host and owner of Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. Torlitas is a dessert company located right here in this great state of Ohio, where we specialize in salty, sweet treats. If you want to know more about me and my business, you can go to at Torlitas. That's T as in Tuesday, O-R-L-I-T-A. Yes, and this week we are back with a demo by the lovely Tamala. She is showing us some of her creativity with her Torlitas brand. And so we just want you to take it away. Show us what you got. Absolutely. Thank you, Taylor. So I wanted to create something new for the Torlitas brand. As you know, that there are tortilla chips with different chocolates and toppings where I have over a dozen varieties. Um, my claim to fame are my blondies, which are milk chocolate, drizzle of milk chocolate, white chocolate, and almond toffee pieces. And to my own horn, too, too. That's the one that was featured on the Chew television show by celebrity chef Carla Hall. One day, um, I've been out here for a minute, and now I'm going to try and do something new called stuffed torlitas. Okay. The stuffed line of Torlitas. So today I had something that I have something that's very familiar with everybody that's out there. Anybody that's had a childhood with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes. So I took two tortilla chips. I dipped them in chocolate, added something to them and stuffed them with peanut butter and jelly. So I'm going to show you how that process is, right? How the process I made, how the process I made them, okay? So let's get to it. So here is a new demo. These are called the stuffed peanut butter and jelly torlitas. And as you see here, I am laying them out on a cookie sheet, a blind cookie sheet. And, you know, getting some that are kind of large. This is going way too fast, hold on. I kind of large and I kind of large. I get the large ones. You can use the round ones as well, but I use the large uh, triangle ones in this particular instance. You'll see that again in a second. Okay. I have to slow this down, but anyway, here's some peanut butter and here's some strawberry jam I used. And I put that in the microwave for a little bit and added the peanut butter, the liquid, quote unquote, peanut butter to a piping bag. And here you'll see, I speeded this up, of course, of me adding the peanut butter and the jam, the preserves, strawberry preserves to um, the sides. What I made the mistake is I put all of it, I put each product, peanut butter jelly on every one. So then I had to go back and find some tops that would correspond with just, you know, those ones. So I don't want to have it so thick on there. So here I am with some Merkins white chocolate. I'm going to melt that in the microwave and get it to the consistency of for dunking mm -hmm. and just give it a good stir to make sure that I get everything incorporated. And off camera, I added more chocolate because I want it to really be a good dunk. So as you see, there were how they looked with the tops on. And here I am just adding the chocolate to the entire thing. So this how it is. It was kind of like, wait a minute. I added some sprinkles and then I added some, I melted some blue chocolate and added it to the actual dunk and um, set of tortilla chip. Um, tortilla chip sandwich. I uh, didn't quite get mine. Well, it's impossible to get them to match up perfectly. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. So, but here is kind of like the end result. 
which I added some sprinkles. I added, and it doesn't look like there's anything stuffed in it right now. However, I'm going to show you here at the end where, get back to my Zoom. I'll show you a picture of it at the end where um, you'll see that it's stuffed with the peanut butter and jelly inside. And let me tell you, it's a shelf life of about, I'd say a good two days if you keep it in a cool, dry location and that you are sealed it into a nice container. Anything beyond that, I think you're gonna get in trouble. And it's still edible, but it's not as gonna be as crisp. So be sure to check it out. It's a it's a really nice treat. I think, you know, since I was doing it for demonstration purposes, it took me a little bit longer because I was making sure I had all the things and all the steps in place and reporting. But if you want to do this at home with your family, and it's a good treat for this time of year, I would think. Um, I think set aside at least 30 minutes to do something like this. It might be a little bit, maybe 40 minutes if you have a different small hand helping you, but it's, yeah. a really, it's a really quick and delectable treat. And who doesn't have peanut butter jelly sandwiches? I mean, hopefully you don't have an allergy, but you know, it was, it brought, brought a smile to my face as I uh, remember my childhood of eating peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And let me tell you, I'll eat one today, so. So yeah. hopefully you enjoyed this. Please uh, let us know if you have tried something like this or you would like to try it. And send, you know, tag us in your uh, posting. If you post to social media, we would love to see it. So that's the awesome. Tornado Stuffed Peanut Butter and Jelly for Lita's. So I have a question. Did you put the, um, the sandwiches in the refrigerator before you dipped them in the chocolate? No, oh, wow. I did not. Nope, no, I didn't. I just liquefied the peanut butter enough so it could adhere to each each other. And with the jam, I didn't put the jam in or liquefy that and left it in its original state. And then I just let it set out for a little bit and then dunk them in the chocolate, or as you saw that I did it with the chocolate, covered it with the white chocolate. And then I did let them... Um, set up in the fridge for probably a good 10 minutes if that much. Nice. Well and after mm -hmm. oh, sorry, what did you say? I said um I put on the sprinkles before I put them in the refrigerator. Oh Bubbles. yeah definitely because it wouldn't sprinkle <laughs> those sprinkles wouldn't stick if it was done after. So yeah. um, one thing that I was gonna say is if you do have an allergy to peanuts you can also do this with other type of nut butters like almond butter or sunflower seed butter some people have used that i've used that before for certain things and so yeah if you do have any intolerances even to strawberries you can use grape jelly i love grape jelly and peanut butter that's good and i like anything that reminds me of like fun childhood did your um <clears throat> when you were growing up did your mom ever grill peanut butter and jelly sandwiches like not no, on the my, my mom always did that like <clears throat> she would even make it sometimes for breakfast she would grill the peanut butter and jelly in a skillet like with some butter and then she'll put the peanut butter on and the jelly and then make a sandwich and toast the whole sandwich it would be so nice let me tell you, that does sound delicious. I haven't seen it that way. Um, mm -hmm. I heard anybody make it that way, but I would love to try that. Maybe you can give us a demonstration of how that is. That would be lovely. Do you make it for your children? Yep, I do. Sometimes I make it for them. One of my children like uh, peanut butter and bananas. So sometimes <laughs> I do um, peanut butter and banana sandwiches and I grill them. Um, yeah, but that's just kind of like something that we do. My mom taught me how to do it. I don't really know who taught her how to do it, but it's tasty. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what does really peanut butter not go with? You know what I mean? It's Only so allergies. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got, you got one. You got one today. 
Anywho, we hope that you try this definitely, definitely. Um, you have anything else coming up this week, Tamala? Well, um, yes. Um, oh, so for the business makers out there, the business owners out there, I'm creating a course to help you with your 60 second elevator pitch. Um, I am coming out with a course in the next probably month, but be sure to go to my Facebook group for nervous speakers. I'll put it, I'll tag it and put it in the uh, comment section, but it's a way for people that who are not who wants to practice more about when someone comes up to you and say, so what do you do? What do you, you know, you're not like on this whole tyrant of what you're doing, how you did it, being very, very detailed about how you made stuff to lead us, so to speak. Yeah. So this is an opportunity for business owners or anybody that wants to, if they're at a networking event on a Zoom call, someone says, oh, so what did you do? What is your business? You'll be able to tell them in less than, I'd say 20 to 30 seconds, but I'll give you a little leeway, say 60 seconds or less exactly what you do, what your name is, what you do, um, who does it benefit and how they can contact you. So it goes a little bit more in depth and breaking down different things about your mindset, what you think and, and how to project your tone and the rhythm of what you say and things like that. So I'm really excited about it. And um, right now I am, uh, working on that and hopefully it'll be available soon and you'll be able to take advantage of that and get your elevator pitch together because let me tell you you'll say over and over and over and over again because you'll be networking with the people that want to enjoy your product or service so that's what I'm doing that's what I'm working on as far as this um, I do have a couple of things that I want to um, do for demo purposes and things like that. I'm looking to, I'm working with a mentor now to hopefully get um, my product in big box stores. So stay tuned. Nice, nice. What about nice. you, Taylor? Well, I was just going to say, actually, a couple of weeks ago, I took a class uh, and one of the benefits of the class is that they teach you how to do um or they edit your business plan they give you a template for making a business plan then they edit the business plan and then the other thing is that we can do a competition a pitch competition so it's sort of like what you were saying about your nervous speakers group and we get five minutes to um really pitch our business so i'll definitely be joining your um group because I don't know if you guys know this because I talk on this show but in real life I rarely talk a lot so um and especially in person in front of a whole group of people is completely different so I will be in the program with Tamla so. <laughs> you know it yeah. wasn't always easy for me and definitely I know that I'm not alone so that's why I created this Words, and I know that it will help other people as well as myself. So you give it away to keep it. That's what they say. You give it away to keep it. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about your program that you are a part of. I know that you will do well. And do you want to talk about what you did last week? I do last week. <laughs> your interview? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So last week... <laughs> I'm like, what did I do last week? Like, okay, so that last was a long time ago. I know. You know how you're excited for things to come, and then when they come, they're like, oh, yeah, I did do that. Thanks for the reminder. Um, yeah, so last week I was interviewed on a show of a fellow YouTuber. Um, it's called Blind Guy, His Wife, and Their Life, and it was absolutely fun. I um, Like I was saying, Yes, it was kind of, I was kind of nervous a little bit when we first started doing it, but um, I really had a good time. I got to, you know, talk about some points about <clears throat> some things that I do. Um, when we're on here and we're just talking about Tamlin Taylor Street Talk Tuesday, I tend to like not bring you guys in on the other aspects of my life or things that I do. 
So that show was nice because I was able to talk about some other classes that I've done and some things I'm going to do in the future. And I don't know if you guys knew that I went to culinary school or uh, much about my life in general. Um, I think I interviewed Tamla before, but I don't know if we ever interviewed me for Tamla and Taylor's uh, Treat Talk Tuesday. I don't know, but we will. How about that? If we didn't or we did, this was a while ago, we'll do it again. Oh. Okay, so yeah, or until we do that, you guys can check out that interview and I will also um, link it down below so you guys can maybe learn something. And thank you to all of our new subscribers who have joined our beautiful gang here that we have. Um, we always like to say, hey, beautiful. We want you guys to feel beautiful as you learn to more about treats, business, and life, so. Absolutely. And um, if you want to uh, join our Facebook group, where it's under the same name, Tamla and Taylor's Treat Talk Tuesday on Facebook, we have some real interesting things that we post in there um, to help the business owner or the home baker or home chocolatier um, gain some insight about who we are or just some inspiration throughout the week that we can offer um, the fellow business owner or aspiring business owner. So be sure to check out Tamla and Taylor's Treat Talk Tuesday Facebook group, where we have some polls in there as well. We just want your opinion about um, how things are going for you. And we want this to be for you. It's not about us, it's for you. So be sure to check that out as well. Yeah, and with that being said, guys, make sure you like, comment, share, give us your feedback on what you want to hear more of. Like Tamla said, we are here for you, and we would like for you guys to have a blessed week. We are here every Tuesday talking to you about treats, business, and life. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.